there's a transferable skill in this centering uh, that you can better assess like what other people need from you. Interconnectedness of the like the breath to the centering to the uh, gratitude, all that sort of. But it, I mean, you guys pointed it out here it clearly correlates. Uh, they all basically walk hand in hand. Um, <laughs> Shit. But well, I, I, yeah, I had, I had thought it does make sense. Like, if you are centered, if you're, you know, you're focused, you're aware, you're not, you know, rushing around, but you're able to, you know, listen to somebody else or, or kind of just observe what's going on in their life, then maybe you can, you know, better offer a hand. Whereas if you're kind of rushing to do your next thing, you're not really paying attention. Guys, certainly do this. My wife will say something. I, I don't necessarily catch it. And, you know, then are, are you really lending a hand? Whereas if you're, if you're centered, if you're focused, um, because you take care of yourself, you're calm, you know, you, you, uh, your anxiety is low, then she mentioned something that she needs help with, or she's got to do later in the week, whatever you're, you're there. And you're like, Oh yeah, I'm ready to do it. Like Friday comes. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Of course I will. <laughs> Get the groceries. Like you said that Tuesday, you know, I'm, I'm there. Like instead of, Oh, I, I didn't catch it. I was, you know, 15 different other places. Uh, um, simply occurring by circumstance rather than putting my mind where my body is right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and it really actually like now that you guys point it doesn't take a lot of work it, it pro you know to be 100 percent doing this probably does but if you think like big picture um it probably wouldn't take a lot of work like for example for me uh so my wife works saturdays um every saturday she has for two years three years. Um, and so my daughter is two. So once that started every Saturday from, you know, whatever, eight thirty nine to about two thirty, I, um, I don't know what the term is. You can't say babysit. You can't say watch, but I hang out with my daughter. Right? Daddy time. Yeah. And so like, I know so many people who that would be a burden, you know, and, and certainly I've been guilty of it. Uh, sometimes with, being like oh, kind of not dreading it but just like man i you know i have all these other things that i could be doing but i can't because you know i'm, I'm with her but then you think like long term 20 years that's i try to enjoy everyone as much as i can because i know in not even 28 years that's not going to be a thing that's not going to be not uh you know some time that we have together it's not going to be um a guaranteed every week kind of bonding experience and so like you try to think like Mike said, uh, be grateful for it, you know, stop and, and not get to that negative attitude and think, okay, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity that you're going to get to spend with your two year old child, take them, you know, to a park, or whatever, walk around, watch them just run and laugh, like, rather than thinking, oh, you know, I could be watching college football, or I could be sleeping in like stuff like that. So, um, cause yeah, they're both I, accurate. Yeah. They're both accurate. You could yeah. be sleeping in watching college football, but also you are right here. 